Kia ora koutou, no mai hare mai ki nga poutama mata whenua. Ko Dwayne tenei. Today we're going to be looking at how to create a simple online 2D or flat web map with Māori Land blocks and your own map notes drawn on over the top. Similar to this example that you can see, where if I click on this pin that I've put, I've added a photo, and if I click on this, I can also see some information about this uh, Māori Land block or Māori Land court data. Okay, so I'm going to be starting from the beginning with this one. So to do that, I'm going to go New Map, and yes, open the map, I'm going to lose my changes. So I'm starting from the beginning. Now you'll be familiar with ArcGIS Online. You'll need a free ArcGIS Online account and you can log in at arcgis.com. Just sign in. I use my Google uh, login and we're going to use the free service from Esri. Um, over on the left here you can see once we've uh, started this you can create your own map. Choose an area, decide what to show using the base maps, add layers and uh, create your own map notes to draw features on the map and save and share your map. So that's what we're going to be basically doing in this session. Let's have a look around here. Up the top here we've got this a little bit confusing at times but there's an about, there's a content, here's our layers and there's a legend. We seldom use the legend but we do use the content a lot. We will use the add data button here we will change the base map, which we're going to do right now, actually. I'm going to change this to uh, Imagery Hybrid. Imagery Hybrid is a satellite image on the bottom of your pizza with a light layer of source, which are the place names. And I can also turn these off and I can change the base map to one without these lines and place names over the top once I have my own data and I don't need that anymore. I can do that by coming here and going like this. But just for now I'm going to go with imagery hybrid, a bit of both, and it does this annoying thing where it jumps to the whole planet. So we don't do that too often. Over here we've got save, share it, make it uh, public if I want to, keep it private. I can print it. I can also access some measuring tools. Uh, I can also make bookmarks. So let's say I wanted a bookmark, a bookmark here of add bookmark for this view, Altera. Now any time that I get lost somewhere and I want to come back to that, I just go bookmark Altera and it pops back like that. Now I can do that for my favorite places as well. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is zoom in and I'm going to start drawing on this map. Now I'm using, uh, I'm going to add map notes over here, add map notes. Now this is the equivalent of pulling out my uh, whiteboard marker and I'm going to call these map notes and I'm going to give them today's date, which is 09 of 20 so that I can easily recognize these map notes later because I am actually going to save them and you can see that it's got a green theme by default I can uh, drag and drop and, and, and draw however I want anywhere on here it's unstructured so each is an individual piece of data so it's not like a normal GIS layer where I can do a query against or anything like that but if I need to do a very very quick map I can put a push, push pin here and I can go Taranaki Maunga and close and it's done now if I want to I can change the symbol, I can change the color like this, I can pick a different type, there's all kinds of things in here, different styles. 
Now this is only going to apply to the one pin that I'm working with at the moment. So I'm just going to take a, that pin for now. And you can see I can't see that very well. I'm going to change it. I'm going to change it to... There we go. This one. Mm, this one. Because I can. There we go. I've got one pin now. And let's go and I'm going to create another one. Now if I click on this one, let's see what happens now. It goes back to the green one. Let's go delete. Let's see if I can copy paste this one. Can I copy paste? No, I can't. Wishful thinking. Okay, and I'm going to repair who. Like so. And I can change the symbol if I want. I come down here. And I pick the same one. Did I pick last time? Did I pick that one? No, I picked this one. Here we go. Close. Now if I press this edit button here, it's going to stop editing. And now when I click on these, you can see that it's not uh, popping up that big box. If I wanted to add to it or change it, if I just press that edit button, well, I have got, let me just confirm that I've got that layer of map notes open. You only want, you only really want one layer of map notes per map. And I can put some text, I can put a line if I want. So let's see, a line as in click, click, click. Let me just check this. Yes, click, click, click. It's going to give me a line. Let's delete that one. I'm going to go, okay, we jumped in our walker and we went for, and we came in here. Now you can see that line is green. I actually quite liked it when it was red. So I'm going to go this, and I can change different things on it too if I want, like this. Okay. And I can also, here we go. And I can add an area too if I wanted to. So I can zoom in here and I can say, okay, here's an area that we went fishing and got in big trouble because we probably weren't supposed to fish there. I can go outline and fill. I can go different types of fills. I can have transparent fills, pick any color I want. I can have very transparent or not very transparent. So block block out white or sort of medium white there. It's going to show up nicely against the blue perhaps. Let's have a look. Well, it's going to be showing against the blue. I'm not sure I'd call that nicely. Let's say I wanted to see what happens now when I click on that. Oh, hikoi, hikoi. Area. I didn't name it. Fishing area. Close. Edit. Come back out and have a look at this. So you can see there now I've got a layer of notes on here. Very, very quickly done. If I wanted to make a quick map, quick map for a blog post or to share with uh, others, done. Now the next thing I need to do is save this map. My example map one. Add tags. So tags are a way to help you find it in 12 months time. So I might call this one Whanganui. I might go Taranaki um, sample map and an example 2D web map. Now, in time, I will um, save it to other folders, but for now, I'm just going to save it there. Okay, now I want to get rid of those lines, which are, I think are the regional councils. I don't need them for this map. 
change that to base map. Unfortunately, it didn't zoom to the whole country, the whole planet. And the next thing I want is I want to add some uh, Māori land blocks. So I'm going to come on here and I'm going to go search for layers this time. I'm going to go to Arctis Online and I'm going to search for Māori land court. Uh, and oh look, this fellow's done it here. Uh, TPK one there, Māori uh, McCann's admin, not sure who those guys are. TPK maps, Māori land blocks and land use capability intersect. Oh, that's a good one. Canterbury maps, Māori land blocks 2017 TPK maps. So you can see these are all very, very similar. Oh, look, that guy's from a different account. He's done the same thing again. So you can see there are numerous different kinds there. So I'm going to uh, take this one here with the logo. It looks looks official, and I know that that name, so it probably is okay. But if I wanted to, I can actually click here. I can get some more information, and I can see. Oh, okay, this is where the data has come from. Looks pretty official. Okay, if I want the absolute authoritative, I would go to the Māori Land Court website and uh, access the data there to confirm what I'm looking at. Okay, here we can see the Māori Land Court blocks. When I click on one, it's giving me some basic details about each individual block. So let's come down, have a look down one of these blocks. Kia ora ken. Okay, so here we have a random block. Rakato uh, block ID. This is just a numeric. It's not a value or any uh, dollar value or anything like that. Uh, the block name, the title, order, number, uh, the date that that title order was made, so 1876. The block area, which is very likely in hectares. Uh, the minute book reference, total shares, total owners and um, the type, which is a freehold order. ML plan reference is really useful. So if I want to track that one down, Māori Land 3092, that is going to, um, that's an indicator to the original paper map that was used to define that, that block. And so those are accessible from a variety of places. Uh, many in Whanganui have been through the hearings, for example, will have copies. Um, you can order them online through uh, LINS. Um, sometimes you can access them through archives. Uh, there's a variety of different places, but the simplest way is through the LINS website. It's Māori Freehold Land. It's an Aotea um, Māori Land District, Māori Land Court District. I'm not sure what that aggregated one means. And the management description or the name uh, of the, the type of trust is there. And now this is really useful. If you click on this one, it's going to take you to the authoritative Māori Land Online, um, online map. Now this is great because it's giving you all of this additional information. Like so. And this was, I don't know my, this was just a random one, random block. If we click on the next block, we'll see what happens there. Uh, not much. Okay. This um, is a really useful one because you can also open the SOAR report from Landcare Research from Fenwavers. There's also a website tupu.nz, which is a similar product from uh, Tupuna Kokiri. Here we go. Looks like we missed on this one somehow. Okay, doesn't matter. This is what I want to show you down here. So it tells you about the potential land use capability of the land, land cover, and, and so forth. So where that came from? Right there. Really useful piece of, um, really useful link. Okay, I'm going to close this by, you can either press this, or you can press details, and then content and come back out again. So what have we done? Number one, we've changed the base map. The base of our pizza, we've changed it from a plain uh, 
kind of pasty looking one to this very flavorsome modern recent satellite imagery and aerial imagery combination. We've added some map notes and we've added map notes that we can always go through in there and edit. Then we also search for Māori Land Court blocks, May 2017, which is when they were re released. I'm not certain if they've been updated since. And we can turn any of these layers on and off at any time. And they just sit there. Not deleted, just turned off. Like so. Let's say we wanted to talk a trust board through some type of land block based um, presentation, but we didn't want to go and take uh, uh, screen captures of these maps and put them into a PowerPoint because that's kind of boring. How about we create a simple presentation using this map that we already have. So over on the top right here you'll notice this create presentation. So it says this map has unsaved changes which won't be available in the presentation unless you save first. Do you want to stop and save your changes first? Yes, let me save first. So I'm going to come out here and I'm going to go save. Then I'm going to go create presentation. So this is kind of a slightly advanced um, add-on, bonus. You may may not use it, but I personally haven't used it myself uh, for a, a presentation, but I know that many of you may um, find this useful, which is why I'm showing you. So the first, the starting point is where we want the map to begin. So I'm just using Whanganui as an example. There's no rhyme or reason here. Add, uh, I'm going to go Whanganui. And here we can see that the label comes up the top, set to current, and we can turn those on and off if we want. We can change the base map and click on your map to open a data pop-up. Do we want pop-ups on here? Perhaps. Um, I'm not sure how to turn that on. Okay. Never mind. We'll just go for it. Slide list. One slide, Whanganui. Next, I'm going to come down here to Whanganui, and let's have a look. Randomly picking blocks here for no rhyme or reason, just other than to demonstrate, and you can see the labels have come on. Number 1A. Okay, set to current. I want map notes off, I want land blocks on, and go save. Okay, now I'm going to add another. Add three. I'm going to come and have a look at this one. And I'm going to call this one SO255, some random thing. I'm not sure if that is the gardens or not. I think it might be. Set to current, turn that on or off if I want, and go add another one. And I can carry on adding slides if I want. Okay, let's have a look at these fellas here. Kia ora. We go Waipakura. Turn my fancy macrons off. Maybe it should have a macron. I'm not sure. I think I'll leave it on. Arha mai if it isn't. I'm not certain or not if it comes through in the labels here. So I'm going to leave it on there. It's sort of corrected for that. Okay. My par could it. Set to current. Save. And let's have a look on what's in the options. Auto advance after five seconds. Show legend on all slides. Let's press save again. And let's have a look what happens when you press play. Whanganui. One, two, three, four, five. 
on a TD. One, two, three, four, five. Is it Malto? I think so. I'm going to look that up after this. I put Kura, and there's our presentation. So this will replay if we want. If we leave it, there we go. And so I could share that link with someone, or I could just use that link. Okay. Let's come out of there, go back to editing map. Okay. And I'm going to press save. Because I can. Now I want to share this with others so I'm going to press share and so what I've got here is I've got um, two choices one I can not share it or two I can share that with everyone or uh, we'll come back to groups in a future session I can share this as a presentation or as a map so if I want to share this as a map with the current extent I can share it using this, or I can untick that, and it will share wherever the default is. But let's say I'll tick the current extent. Now that will share as that, and I'll just press done. And I'm going to come over here to a new logged out window, and let's see what this shows me. An example map, land blocks on. If I go into content, I can actually turn on those map notes if I want to. This is not logged in, so this is a public map. Let's come back to this one. We go share again. So this is the editing version. This time I'm going to go presentation. I'm going to copy that one. Let's say I wanted to send this to Komatua, who was pretty fast on his phone, but wasn't particularly flash on websites and things for some reason. Who knows? Uh, if I go over here and I paste that link in here, it's going to open that same map, but it's going to open it in presentation mode. Like this. And we've also got a legend up here. And one, two, three, four, five. There we go. And we can see it going through the slides there. Okay, that is all I wanted to show you in uh, the 2D web map. The last thing I want to show you is how to find this map again. You go to content and in your what's called the root directory in the, the, the base folder is going to be your um, your documents or your projects and so I can open if I close these I can open my example map open a new tab I can open my 3d tour as well in another tab so here's my this is the item so I can open a map viewer and this will show me the map this is the other the item or the about and I can open that in scene viewer So what have we done there? We've changed the base map. We've added some map notes. We've found and added Māori land court blocks from another. Whoops. I don't know I might. I'll see if I can wipe that off. Okay. So what have we done here? We've got the base pizza, which we've changed from that sort of pasty topographic one hillshade to a satellite view we've added map notes we've added Māori land court blocks which we went and so, uh, searched for and added without having to download and upload them we've created a presentation and we've shared that presentation and we've examined a couple of of the land blocks themselves okay whoops what's that done okay that's us. Hekona mai matewa kakete anō.